Thank you, God, this morning for who you are and for that what you are doing, Lord. Thank you, God, that through prayer we have this connection between heaven and earth. Thank you, Father, that your perfect plan, everything that you are excited about in heaven for my life and through my life, that through prayer it can not just be connected, but it can flow into earth and through my life. I honor you for that connection through prayer. Thank you, Father, that this prayer and our prayer, that, Lord, it's an initiative between us as people and you, our God. Lord, between me and you, that I'm not, the initiative will not be through my circumstances. I will not come before you, and I'm not coming before you because I have a problem, first of all, Lord, but because I love you. And because you created this platform for initiative, for an initiative between me and you, and that is through prayer. Thank you that at any time in the day, whenever in the night, I can just come before you and have an awesome time with you through prayer and in prayer, laying everything down before your throne. And many times just speaking to you and any time that you want to speak to me, God, I am available and I will honor the initiative for whenever you want to speak to me. I choose to be open and help me that through my soul I will understand not to be taking an initiative based on intimidation or situations and that that will initiate prayer. <clears throat> no, God, but because you gave me the gift. You gave me the blessing to be able to pray and speak to you anytime, anytime. Thank you for that, Lord. And that prayer in my life and in our lives will not be an obligation. It will not be a law, but it will always be fresh. I pray through the Holy Spirit that our prayer life will be fresh, fresh. Thank you that it can be a bypass around our soul, that we, through prayer, can go beyond our thoughts, our emotions, our own will even, Lord, for emotions that could be in hurt and that we will not be inaccurate because of our emotions. And it will not, our prayer life will not be filtered through emotions that bring us into a very subjective and not objective prayer life, Lord even in our thought patterns that are not accurate. Lord, but in spite of that, through your Holy Spirit, all these things, all these weaknesses can be bypassed so I can be in your perfect will. Thank you for that even, Lord, that prayer then as the door for the language of my spirit, that through prayer I can come to the essence of who I am even by speaking and praying in tongues, Lord, by praying in tongues, the language of my spirit. In my spirit, I find your perfect emotions, your perfect feelings, that what you feel about a situation, that what you think about a situation, your will, your purposes for my life is locked up in my spirit. And thank you, Lord, as I, as I verbalize that in prayer, through the language of my spirit. I'm not just perfectly bypassing the emotions and the thought patterns in my soul, but Lord, that I can have this intimate communion with you from my spirit to you as you are spirit. Thank you for that, Father, and that you opened this up to me and I pray for every man, every woman that they will learn how to pray in the spirit as from their spirit, Lord, as Paul said to the church after addressing a lot of things in their lives about the gifts, where he said, what will we do then? We will pray in, a, the, in the spirit where it's my spirit and with my understanding. I will sing with my spirit and I will sing with understanding. Help us to do that. Help us to learn how to take that freedom. God, and with that, we will just take that initiative, not by law, but Holy Spirit, create that initiative in us anytime to pray in tongues, to sing in tongues, 
and to pray and to sing with our own understanding. In every opportunity, there we are giving us the platform to do that, Lord, that we will enjoy it, not because of an obligation, but because we love you. Thank you for that freedom through a life of prayer. In Jesus' name, amen.